Well, that was the Star Castle Hotel. So named because it's in the shape of a star and that gives it perfect views all the way around. And as the name suggests, it was a castle stroke battlement which was built to protect Scilly from all invaders and they had every right to. As with all small archipelagos, they become really important strategically. The castle was also used for refuge. One of the early princes, kings, can't remember his name offhand, took refuge here during the Reformation. Now, as I said, Scilly had every right to be defensive. Back in the day, they plagued the Dutch sailing fleet that used to come a cropper here, uh, stealing or looting or borrowing goods from stranded ships. And such was the ferocity of uh, Silly's interest in the Dutch fleet that uh, it's only been recently, and I mean in the last 30 years, that the Dutch have signed a peace treaty. They've been at war with the Sillies since 1651. Amazing. Now, don't think that I'm some genius in relation to general knowledge. Of course I've done my research. I'm just recounting some of the stuff that I've read. I find it quite interesting. As I say, for now, continue with this walk around the island.
Hugh Town. So that means that I have walked almost the entire circumference of the island. It's taken me a, uh, a little while because I've had to stop off and do all the bits and bobs. Easily done within an hour, within an hour? Easily done within a day. Um, if you like me and you don't dawdle, you can get done very quickly, although the time is now 25 past three in the afternoon and I left about half, half eight this morning. So I have I've taken a little bit of a stroll. But that's what you get for a day around the island. There's plenty more to do. It's just that uh, I haven't got the time to do all it all. Uh, you need a couple of days here. Um, and yes, I haven't gone to any of the other islands yet. And the likelihood is, because I'm catching the ferry tomorrow, I'm not going to. But that just means I'll have to come back. There's worse things that can happen. Remember the Star Castle Hotel from earlier on this morning? Well, I'm actually sat inside it now, down in the dungeon, in the dungeon bar, just having a well-earned drink from my uh, circumnavigation of the island. You can actually sit a floor up and have a view of the bay or you can walk the battlements and that gives you the 360 degree view around the fortress but for now this is the only view that I'm going to deal with. Last morning, this morning, just packed up, put the bags uh, at the shop. They're going to take that over to the ferry, so I don't need to worry about that. That's a great little service, that is. I've got till 4.30. Well, that's when the ferry goes. So in reality, I've got till 3.30. I've had a little bit of a snack this morning uh, with the, uh, the old camping stuff. But I think I'm going to go into town now and have a spot of a breakfast and then a little bit more of a wander and then home I think it's great weather it started off this morning um, a bit drizzly uh, and cold but it's starting to warm up now absolutely epic this place is onwards and upwards Well, the afternoon ferry is almost here and that will mark 48 hours on the island. Now, I'm sure some people will no doubt say to me, why have you gone all that way for such a short period of time? Well, for me, it's not about um, longevity in a place. It's about what you get from it. And besides, I only had a couple of days off work. Uh, but what that says to me is that, and I've said this before in, in my other video, my Corsica video, if you can get out, then you should get out. And I'm just going to prove that for a few shekels um, and with some inclination, you can go as far as you want and make the most of the time when you get there. Clearly, as I said yesterday, I've only done 
St Mary's as an island and there are a few more islands to actually explore and that's where I suppose the concern comes and that's where more time would probably do me do me better but it only means one thing and, and again I said it yesterday it just means that I'm going to come back and actually from my experience in this last 48 hours there's no doubts that I'm going to return so it's a big thumbs up for the Scilly Islands or the Isles of Scilly shall I say um, and let's see what happens when I come back I'm going to go and get an ice cream now anyway so uh, my enjoyment continues Thank you.